a place of dark beauty, an underwater valley formed by Earth's tectonic dance, tucked away in the Pacific. It's the Mariana Trench, the deepest point on Earth, shrouded in mystery and home to creatures so bizarre they'd give your wildest imagination a run for its money. Now, scientists recently sent a state-of-the-art deep-sea probe into this remote abyss, and what it found will make your jaw drop. This isn't just another marine expedition. It's a journey into the unknown, where every turn of the underwater current reveals something astonishing. The long and narrow valley at the trench's bottom has been a playground for highly specialized and downright peculiar creatures. But the latest findings suggest that the Mariana Trench might be hiding more than just quirky critters. The researchers stumbled upon something unexpected and downright disturbing. We're talking about the possibility of other life forms, maybe even entire civilizations, lurking in the depths where sunlight fears to tread. Can you believe it? It's like stumbling upon a hidden world within our world, a discovery that's not just mind-boggling but universe-boggling. This revelation isn't just shaking up our knowledge of ocean depths, it's sending shockwaves through our understanding of life in the universe. The Mariana Trench, formed by the relentless push and pull of Earth's plates, is now revealing secrets that could rewrite the very books of marine biology and astrobiology. Let's rewind a bit to the 1950s when the Mariana Trench was almost turned into a dumping ground for nuclear waste. Can you imagine the catastrophe we narrowly escaped? Thanks to two brave adventurers who dove 11 kilometers into the abyss in a unique submarine, we now know there's life down there. President George W. Bush recognized its importance in 2009, establishing the Mariana Trench Maritime National Monument, ensuring this unique world remains protected. Now, let's throw it back to the 1870s. Yes, you heard it right. Back in 1872, the British ship HMS Challenger was already exploring the Pacific Ocean's bottom. They discovered the Challenger Deep, the deepest point on Earth, using nothing more than a sounding, lowering a weighted rope into the abyss. Just wrap your mind around this. 11 kilometer deep, way beyond the height of our highest mountain. But why does the Mariana Trench captivate our imagination? Well, it's not just a challenge for scientists. It's a cosmic mystery waiting to be unraveled. We humans want to know what's happening down there in the depths. So off we go into the abyss. Now, to all you divers out there, you know the struggle. Our respiratory organs and blood gas aren't exactly fans of deep sea adventures. Even the best divers stick to a mere 200 meters below the surface. Hold on to your goggles because the Mariana Trench laughs at that depth. It's a whopping 11 kilometers deep. Yeah, let that sink in. Our oceans aren't just vast bodies of water. They're intricate habitats with layers and zones. The epipelagic zone, the sunlight zone where the sun's rays reach and photosynthesis throws a party. It's a hot spot for marine life, buzzing with diversity. Then there's the mesopelagic zone, where sunlight starts playing hard to get. Living conditions get tough, and creatures here are like the MacGyvers of the ocean, adapting with bioluminescent organs to thrive in the low light levels. Next up, the bathypelagic zone, where darkness reigns supreme from 1,000 to 4,000 meters deep. Life is sparse, but it persists. The abyssopelagic zone from 4,000 to 6,000 meters is an extreme neighborhood. No vertebrates here, just simple organisms braving freezing temperatures and colossal pressure. And then we reach the Hadal pelagic zone, starting from around 6,000 meters and diving into the deepest points, like the Challenger Deep, this zone is like the VIP section of the deep sea, shrouded in almost zero light, icy temperatures, and a pressure so intense that only a handful of specialized life forms can hang out. Now imagine this oceanic kaleidoscope where we've only scratched the surface, literally. We've explored a measly 5% and the rest. Well, it's the Earth's version of a surprise party waiting to be discovered. But wait, 
there's more. Forget what you thought you knew about the depths because down there, it's not just about invertebrate mollusks or microbes. The ocean's unfathomable depths have fueled human imagination for eons. Myths and legends speak of bizarre creatures building underwater cities. Imagine that sunken cities and mysterious beings lurking in the dark abysses of the seas. It's not just a story, it's a global narrative, connecting cultures with a special bond to the ocean. For the longest time, stories of monstrous 10-meter-long octopuses were dismissed as mere sailor's yarn until, guess what, the first specimen surfaced, proving that sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. So, could it be that the myths of underwater cities and civilizations have a hint of truth to them? Cue Hollywood maestro James Cameron, who delved into this very subject in his film The Abyss. An underwater drilling station, a crew, and a highly intelligent alien species dwelling in the ocean's depths. These beings, alarmed by our human antics, contemplate wiping out humanity to save the planet. Talk about deep sea drama. Now, James Cameron isn't just any filmmaker. He's got a unique bond with the deep sea. In 2012, he took a solo dive into the Mariana Trench with a specially designed submarine called the Deep Sea Challenger, a boundless adventure indeed. Beyond creating epic blockbusters like Avatar, Cameron's solo dive echoed the historic journey of Don Walsh and Jacques Picard in 1960, who first reached the trench's bottom. Back then, the abyss was a mystery, but Walsh and Picard's dive opened a new chapter in deep sea exploration. They discovered life at the deepest depth, a fish, creatures, and a thriving ecosystem in the absence of light and warmth. Fast forward to Cameron's solo dive, where he not only collected crucial data and samples, but also filmed the deep sea environment, turning it into an extraordinary documentary. This dive expanded our understanding of the deep sea and the potential for life in conditions we once thought impossible. It makes you wonder, could life exist on distant planets and moons under conditions beyond our wildest dreams? But Cameron isn't the lone ranger in this aquatic adventure. Numerous expeditions with diving probes and unmanned submarines like Japan's Kaiko have unveiled the Mariana Trench's hidden wonders. Kaiko in 1995 brought us detailed maps and high-resolution images of the seabed, showcasing a world of beautiful and bizarre life in the deep sea. And now, my friends, let your imagination run wild. What fantastical creatures and mysterious beings might call the Challenger Deep home? The abyssal zone is a realm of fantasy and reality collide, and the more we explore, the more enchanted our understanding becomes. Meet the deep sea anglerfish, also known as Melanocetus. This isn't your meter-long monster, but it's the reigning champion in the ugly and devious category. Complete darkness in the deep sea, and the anglerfish, with its angel-like head, appendage, switches on a tiny light whenever it feels a bit peckish. It's like having a built-in flashlight, but instead of finding your keys, it's attracting its next meal. The fish snaps its jaws shut, and voila, the anglerfish has its dinner. Talk about deep sea dining drama. Now, let's shift our focus to line worms, the rock stars of single cell organisms. These primitive life forms, with the fancy Latin name Xenophiophores, form complex structures and might just be among the oldest living creatures on our good old earth. Imagine living for eons as a single cell makes our daily struggles seem like a walk in the park, doesn't it? Ever heard of deep sea shrimps in the genus Rarus? These little guys set up shop near hydrothermal vents, the hot spots of the ocean floor. What's on their menu, you ask? Bacteria that feast on sulfur compounds. It's like a gourmet meal for these deep sea dwellers. Now, I know we were all secretly hoping for the Loch Ness Monster's distant cousin to make an appearance, but the truth is, 
The Mariana Trench is a treasure trove of weird and wonderful creatures adapted to life in the deep, dark depths. What else lies hidden beneath the waves? Well, one thing's for sure, it's a world of surprises, and the more we explore, the more astonishing discoveries await. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you enjoyed the content and found it helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.